And my name is Nicholas Hammond, and I'm thrilled to be here. I've always been intrigued by Singapore for many reasons. Coming here has checked one more off my bucket list. People are much more appreciative of whatever cultures they encounter when they travel, instead of just trying to import their own uh, values everywhere they go, but to actually try to learn from and listen to and absorb the culture of the place they're in. I mean, the very first film I did was when I was 10 years old, a movie called Lord of the Flies, where I went to Puerto Rico and I spent 10 weeks on a desert island surrounded by a culture that was totally unlike anything I'd ever seen before. And then I was put on a plane and flown to Salzburg to do The Sound of Music. And that was a culture I was completely new to me. But it stays with me to this day. I mean, if ever I see a photograph of Austria or a photograph of the Caribbean, instantly what comes back to my mind is the experience I had there, even as a small child. It's something that you don't have to have all the money in the world. You just have to be willing to open yourself, your heart, and your eyes and your ears, and your taste buds, to what you're gonna find in whatever new part of the world you go to. And it will make you a better person. And it'll make you a, a truly rich person. And I'm sensing it today. You know, I'm learning things by the hour here that I didn't know before. And I still have the same wonder when I go to a new culture that I had going to Puerto Rico when I was 10. <laughs> so I hope that never changes. I hope, I hope I never get so cynical that I don't appreciate all the wonders and the riches that the world holds. And if you just are willing to embrace them, they're all out there for you. I always think what makes part of travel interesting and rewarding is to stay in a place that really reflects the culture and the place you're in. Not only the heritage of the past, but also that it's still a living, breathing part of that culture. I love to travel, and to me, uh, the difference between just going from A to B and actually really traveling is uh, allowing yourself to be completely absorbed in that whole culture. And when I first got off the plane and got into that beautiful car that the Fullerton Hotel has, I immediately felt I was transported back into another time and another world. You pull in and you see this gorgeous building, this stately, beautiful colonial building, this kind of symbol of stability and power and continuity. And you just feel uplifted walking through those, walking through those doors and walking into that big vaulted lobby and that beautiful staircase. It's a wonderful feeling. It's inspiring. I think it does something really good for your heart and your soul to be in a beautiful building. It was a very profound and great thing to arrive here. Not just the city itself, but this particular place. I can't imagine wanting to be anywhere else in Singapore than here at the Fullerton.